Heart Sign Samaritan PAD 500P featuring CPR Advisor, an innovative AED that provides real-time feedback on the rate and force of compressions during CPR. Let's look at how to use one in a life-saving situation. The Samaritan PAD should be used on victims of sudden cardiac arrest who are unconscious, not breathing and have no pulse. Check for a response by shaking the victim by the shoulders and talking loudly to the victim. If the patient is unresponsive, immediately call for medical assistance and get the Samaritan PAD as quickly as possible. Press the green on-off button to turn on the Samaritan PAD. Depending on the pad pack currently installed, you will either hear an adult patient or a child patient prompt. If the patient is a child between 1 and 8 years of age, you should ensure a pink paediatric pack is installed. If a pink paediatric pack is not available, you may use the grey adult pad pack instead. Adult patient. Call for medical assistance. Remove clothing from patient's chest to expose bare skin. Pull green tab to remove pads. Peel pads from liner. Apply pads to patient's bare chest, as shown in picture. Press pads firmly to patient's bare skin. The Samaritan PAD automatically assesses the patient's heart rhythm. Assessing heart rhythm, do not touch the patient. And recommends whether or not a shock should be delivered. Shock advised. Stand clear of patient. Press the orange shock button now. Shock delivered. When performing CPR, it's important to apply effective chest compressions for each two-minute cycle, as directed. The SAM 500P with CPR Advisor will prompt you to begin CPR and will continue to do so until you begin chest compressions. Begin CPR. It is safe to touch the patient. The SAM 500P will tell you how and where to place your hands as well as provide you with real-time audio-visual feedback on the rate and force of your chest compressions. Place overlapping hands in middle of chest. Press directly down on the chest in time with metronome. Remain calm. The SAM 500P will also give feedback on the force and rate of chest compressions by measuring changes in chest impedance. CPR Advisor measures the change in impedance and uses this to determine the appropriate feedback to the rescuer, advising them to push faster, push harder, push slower. It will also provide feedback when the chest compressions are correct. Good compressions. The combination of chest compressions and defibrillation is the best treatment you can provide until medical professionals arrive on the scene. Once you have completed two minutes of chest compressions, the SAM 500P will prompt you to stop chest compressions. Stop CPR. And again assess the patient's heart rhythm. Assessing heart rhythm. Do not touch the patient. Sometimes, no shock is needed in a life-saving situation, and the Samaritan PAD will tell you in that instance. No shock advised. After using the Samaritan PAD, slide a new pad pack into the unit and store it as usual. Remember to follow your local battery disposal guidelines. Once a week, check that the green light is flashing so that you know the unit is ready in case of an emergency.